What is poppin' calisthenics fam? My name is Brennan Myers, and today we're gonna be discussing keto versus intermittent fasting. So recently there has been a lot of chatter around the keto and intermittent fasting diets. And I just wanted to make this video to clear up any confusion you may have and lead you to that lean, fit, and healthy body. Now, you have to understand, I followed intermittent fasting for just under a year, so I do have incredible experiences with the IF principles and strategies. On the other hand, I have not followed the keto principles, but I have many friends who followed this diet and was at one point meeting with the CEO of Quest and their team to learn all about it. I have also done my own research, so I just want to give my own opinion on the two different diets so you can choose something specific for you. With intermittent fasting, there are great benefits, but just like any method of eating, it does not work for everyone. This general idea behind IF is to eat in a small window of at most eight hours and then don't eat anything caloric for at least 16 hours afterwards. And according to research, the longer the fast, the most benefits it has for your body. Some of these benefits include a decrease in insulin levels, which obviously has an effect on overall fat loss. You have reduced oxidative stress, increase in growth hormone production. As we know, this is extremely important in regulating body composition, body fluids, metabolism, and muscle growth. There are also cases that cholesterol numbers become optimal, which is definitely something we all want, right? Now, some of the negatives to this diet is thinking you can just eat whatever because you fasted for 18 hours. This correlates with controlling yourself when the fast is over. This is a big misconception. If you are fasting, you should still eat your leafy greens, stay away from sodas and fried foods, and say no to eating a bunch of processed foods. This isn't a hack to a better body, and I will get to some major points at the end of this video so you understand why I believe there's too much inconclusive evidence to say this is for everyone. Now to the keto diet. Although I haven't personally experienced it myself, I have sat down with Quest and learned from the top professionals in this area, and I was surprised at how powerful this system is said to be. Keto, also known as ketosis, is when your body's energy comes from ketone bodies in the blood rather than from glucose. In short, it burns fat for fuel. This is a high fat, very low carb, and moderate protein diet. Definitely a fun way to eat. So what are some of the benefits? First, it's improved weight loss. When you eat less carbs, your body releases less insulin, which forces your body to enter into existing fat stores for energy. That is when you are in ketosis though. Remember that. You don't just want to stop eating carbs after watching this video. Just listen to the benefits and negatives of each, then make an educated decision. This next benefit really opened up my eyes. It is still being studied. It has not been proven for everyone, but when in ketosis, your body actually starves cancer cells. It is believed that cancer cells cannot metabolically shift to use fat rather than glucose. Therefore, if there is no glucose, then the cancer cells starve, right? I believe there needs to be more research in this area, but if it does work with patients, which some research seems to substantiate that, I definitely would be one to recommend it. And one more benefit, obviously there's a lot more, but just like the IF diet, Keto helps raise HDLs and improves your overall LDLs. So what are the negatives to the ketogenic diet? First off, there is an adaptation period, and this can be very uncomfortable in many cases to reach fully ketosis. There's also a restrictive way of eating. If you like carbs, you won't like keto. And finally, it does require restraint. Just like I mentioned with IF above, you should still be consuming the proper micronutrients in your diet. So with that being said, we have the pros and cons of the IF and keto diet. So which should you choose? I would love to hear your opinions down below in the comment section. From what I have researched and experienced, I believe both diets are a bit too inconclusive for me to create a program and feel comfortable selling it to everyone. And this is for a number of reasons. First off, with intermittent fasting especially, many experiments have been done often using poor control groups. Now I don't want to knock it completely though. I have experienced some benefits from this system and fast every once in a while still, but I do believe the results I saw are correlated with the foods I placed in my body rather than the actual system 
itself. Now, just like intermittent fasting, ketosis has no drastic effect for many populations. Research shows it may in fact only work for particular types of people with specific needs and health conditions. That being said, if you are someone who is curious about intermittent fasting or the keto diet, go ahead and try it out yourself. But you can build a perfectly lean, fit, and defined body without it. So that is all I really have to say for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe now if you haven't already. Calcetics fam, hashtag Calcetics in the comment section. And I just hope you enjoyed this video. Let's keep on riding out. Keep on just commenting, giving me more ideas of things that you want to see and I'll produce it. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Peace.